And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dragon Mobilize. Let's bring this deck back. This one looked really strong the other day whenever we played it. So we're going to bring it back for a rank up uh, Sunday here. We're, we're playing a ramp deck where we want to have um, Herald of Dragons and Mobilize. We're going to have these two cards right away to make our dragons cost less mana in our hand. Uh, with the mobilize and so playing those and then we're going to be ramping into all these dragons so you know like we'll have um the ability to have eclipse dragon that uh with the daybreak they'll also have our next dragon cost two less so eclipse dragon gets to ramp us into aurelian soul because whenever we have the mana for eclipse dragon then make aurelian soul cost two less so it's like aurelian soul costing eight so we can play the turn after eclipse dragon um so that's a nice combo there and then to help us catch up since we're going to be a little slower than our opponents, we're going to need a lot of striking. So we're going to have removal with Concerted Strike and Strafing Strike and Single Combat. We have all nine of the strike cards in here. And all of those strike cards work great with Radiant Guardian as well. So that's going to be our deck, Dragon Mobilize. Let's see how it does. We're going to go play it five games over in Ranked. Yeah, we have Skies Descend as our Aurelian Soul Champion spell, so I guess we still have that. Um, not playing any normally because... You know, you kind of have to have everything else going right for you with having multiple dragons in play in order for it to really work. All right, more of the Undying, and um, yeah, I'll just keep this in. So more the Undying with Bilgewater to grant our things vulnerable. It's another pretty tricky deck. Yeah, I think... That's basically a fun smith deck. Alright, so I wanted to... I wanted to mobilize next turn and play Shivana and everything, but I don't know, this is kind of scary. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take down the Spark Beast right now. That slows me down. But I could also just play Dragon's Clutch and draw two dragons. No, we're just going to mobilize. Um, and I will just wait a turn for that. Basically waiting waiting to see if we drew another unit, which we did not. The fight just isn't the same without you, Ana. Yeah, this is this is definitely a the undying deck. All right, Shivana's in here to start leveling up. There was hope. Vulnerable is really good. Maybe something to give my Shivana a vulnerable. Definitely possible. I'm just gonna pass for now and kind of see what happens. The you know the one mana burst spell of deal two damage. Oh man, that's that's a great combo make two things vulnerable. Well, I guess I'm going to be playing Radiant Guardian this turn. I'm sorry, Shivana. Yeah, I'm sorry, Shivana. Justice will be served! Shroud the world in wings! We, we shall pierce their tree! The prophecies ring true! Alright, we'll try to fight this Callista. And two turns away from a potential Aurelian soul if Herald the Dragons can stay alive. Strike for justice! I can see us using this Dragon's Clutch either way. 
for drawing two different dragons or granting them plus one plus one. I right, probably drawing two dragons. The plus one plus one was you know to make sure that that would happen. Um, get bloody, get paid. Could give him plus one plus one. So I want. Okay, I think I want to do this now. This draw two now so that. No, we don't. Okay. I'm thinking about the Eclipse Dragon, right? Like, if I want Daybreak or Nightfall on the Eclipse Dragon. That's what. That's my big consideration with casting Dragon's Clutch now or, or waiting a turn. There you are! My flame protector does have fury, but I'm not not working towards leveling up Shivana. But I think the bigger thing with fury is the way to go here. Obviously, planning on the the plus one plus one now. So I'll have all the mana for Shivana plus Concerned Strike. So we will uh, be able to level up Shivana immediately after playing. Ooh, or we have Strafing Strike. Fire and fury burn in me. Strafing Strike and heal. Oh, I just realized I just kind of played into Ruin. I guess they are going to be a Ruination deck, aren't they? Hmm, maybe I should have just attacked. Please don't have Ruination. Still, yet again, never have had an opponent miss on Stalking Shadows. And we did yesterday. Alright, we're gonna do this right now. Level up Shivana. Their 4 3 kill my Radiant Guardian, their 3 3 can kill my White Flame Protector. I assume they'll just go block block with those. So little but I feel pretty good about where we are. We got our two dragons, and then we also have an Aurelian Soul and two fight cards in hand, and they have three cards in hand. So, like, we have the same number of cards in hand. I guess if I didn't attack with those, I guess we would be leveling up the Aurelian Soul, wouldn't we? So I guess that would be the bad part. So they have another Chronicler of Ruin in hand, right? So don't they have... I'm pretty sure they have another one in hand, don't they? Isn't that what that's telling us? I think so. So I, I need to kill this Curse Keeper before they... They play another one, so we'll heal... Our screeching dragon. Sacrifice for a greater cause. Seven six wild claw. <laughs> this fury on the screeching dragon is given this plus six plus six. I think that's why it's still alive. Pretty sure that's why it's still alive. Maybe they miss? Do not miss. I guess Ruination isn't isn't killing my Aurelian Soul, 
So like, you know, worst case scenario here is Ruination, and that doesn't kill my Aurelian Soul because the spell shield. So it should be a level up. Hopefully. Return with infamous. Got a five five. Boys, we have this. Right. I guess seven six overwhelm. That's the biggest thing that died. Was the alpha wild claw. I do love an audience. Burr, burr, burr. to do this. We have some different options. Keeping Screeching Dragon alive isn't going to be easy. We can, we can easily kill their Callista. Keeping the dragon alive is not going to be easy. Will collapse eventually. Confront is the challenger spell. Or the champion spell. I think I'm just going to keep this other Scourge in hand. Or this other strafing strike, sorry, strafing strike in hand. I could, you know, strafing strike this 3 2, and it would still be 11, it would still be 5 health. Okay, so I, I don't want them to draw two cards. Oh, wait. That doesn't stop that from drawing two cards anyway, but it does stop, let's see. It does stop 7 damage to me from this Wow Claw. Is that worth it? No, I'll just let that damage happen. From the skies! A face for hero Terrans. I guess I could get atrocity. We have Strafing Strike to protect against that, but glad that wasn't Ruination. Like, I just played this the Scourge, and then they play Ruination. Glad that didn't happen. Calm mind and open heart, greet the night. Okay, time to try to just attack and win. Now they'll pay attention. Uh, three is the biggest health. These all have, now have Overwhelm. I don't really see them staying alive here. Yeah. Didn't see them staying alive there. Alright, 1-0. No. Yeah, we've had a lot of really long games today. Fiora Shen. This is not going to be a fast one. Well, our hand's good. We're gonna keep it. Turn two or turn three, Shivana. Turn four, Screeching Dragon. Does mobilize help? So right now I'm looking at turn three, Shivana. I can still play turn three, Shivana with. Yeah, I can still just go. Mobilize on three and still play turn three Shivana. Um, so yeah, I just won't. I just don't get to. Don't get to play anything this turn. My shield is yours. Cool. We didn't really need to play anything this turn anyway. They would fall by my blade. Yeah, Breeze streams longer because daylight savings time. 
here my time zone changed. Shroud the world in wings. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Ooh. What's the fire breath this time? Hmm? A soldier should know to stay out of the way. I am watching you, dragon. That's not bad on turn four, having all these things in play. Ready weapon. End them. So I'm expecting repost. But I think they would want to save their Fiora with a repost. They could kill my dragon. Okay. Yeah, I mean, so... It's the same thing as repost. Still pretty good. Um, two of our cards. Or wait, no, we just lost one card, right? We just lost the 3-2 the Challenger. And they lost two units and a Spirit's Refuge. So we're up a card now, even though we, we played Mobilize that didn't really count as a card. We will see which of us is victorious. I think I have to pass. Like, I can't I can't save Shivana and kill Fiora. So we're going to save Shivana. We're gonna kill this thing. And I'll give the Fury... I'll give the Fury to my Screeching Dragon. Which I guess it would get either way. There are none like me. Yeah, I gotta save Shivana. As foretold! <laughs> Too easy. Your move. I'm gonna have the Shivana get the Fury this time. So now Shivana is healed. It's a five-six. The balance requires a watchful eye. I'll be a little surprised if they attack. River shape the land and give it life. Well, maybe they will just to be able to strike with River Shaper. But that would cost them their Shen. I guess I could have just seen. Oh, I should have just single combat right here, and just I should have single combat right there while they only had one mana. That's what I should have done. Kill the Shen. Still lots of fight spells. Strike, we will reform. My life for these lands! We walk between realms. Nature blesses her followers. Yep. Need to kill that Shen. That's gonna cost me. Not killing that Shen right there. Stand United is so great. That's true, we're probably still fine. So we knew that now they just drew a spell. I long for a worthy opponent. So that's gonna be another spell they'll draw.
So I got two spells in hand. Everything I've worked for. I wish Shivana's champion spell was was just the the fight card. I feel like it could be. I could just block with this Shivana and play a new one. It won't have the plus three plus three though. Play Infinite Mind Splitter and just stun that thing and then pass. I was, yeah, I was thinking that could go a really insult. No, because they could just have a fight spell and kill my Mind Splitter. I'd probably go a really insult. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> and I could have, I could give the really insult challenge, challenger. Or I can just challenge this thing and now their 9-9 has to block either my 9-5 or my 10-10. <laughs> and I get my 3 mana. For the Strafing Strike. So you with like barriers, we get to do a little bit of fighting to try to stop barriers. Yeah, Repost like takes down my team, but... Um... Yeah, that's that's the best card to have. Takes out my team, but at least we'll kill the Bright Steel formation. Yeah, we know that with the the River Shaper, they had some multiple spells. Yuck. I'd a really in soul being gone means that my supernova now doesn't do anything cuz I, I don't I'm not going to be holding another celestial card. That was the only way to have a celestial card. You will scream your submission Severus. Backup Mind Splitter, not bad. They gotta have fight card here, or they're dead. And even if they do have, if they do have fight card, then I have another Mind Splitter. All right, they had fight card. Close game, but it's looking good for us now. But very close game. Now they'll pay attention. My true form. Show them what comes of taming a dragon. GG's. Okay, that one. <laughs> another very long close game. Dragons have no remorse. Ooh, this Nightfall deck is good. The Nightfall deck is good. Alright, we'll keep 
Herald to ramp into Protector, right? So we'll have that turn two, turn three. Turn four, we'll have Concerted Strike. We just gotta make sure that our Herald of Dragons doesn't die to Diana turn two. Gotta watch out for that. Ugh. Which now it should not. Could play Shivana. I think we play Shivana. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood. Pale Cascade is their like answer for Shivana here. Shivana's worth on, worse on defense, like if I'm not attacking into Pale Cascade. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. I know Pill Cascade. As foretold, suffer my fury. Um, hard to say not balanced. I mean, honestly, I think you can kind of invest in anything with this game because this game it's it's very easy to get new cards. So basically, you don't have to worry about. Um, hoarding your resources too much, like your your gem, gems and things like that. Um, I guess what are they called? Shards, maybe? Um, yeah, your shards. Uh, you can just go ahead and kind of craft whatever you, you whatever looks like it will be a lot of fun for you. And you don't have to be um, you know, you don't have to be too nervous about it or anything. You're... Yeah, you're not locked into things for a long time if you uh, spend your resources, because you'll you'll get more resources. This is kind of the problem with playing Shivana first instead of the White Flame Protector that would have had the Fury that would have grown. Is Diana? So that'll be seven for Shivana level up. Yeah, so just yeah, just find find stuff that looks fun basically like what whatever you're going to enjoy that's what it, that's what it's going to be worth playing I am watching you should maybe be working towards this radiant guardian a little bit harder than i currently am again pale cascade Pill Cascade and Unspeakable Horror are just awesome. I don't think that my better plan is not attacking and letting them have a 3 3 elusive with me at 12. I don't think that's a better plan. I just. Yeah, I gotta hope that it's only one copy of Pill Cascade and not another. Not another one. Okay, good. Oh, that didn't level up my Shivana right away? Oh, I put Shivana at a. That put Shivana at 11 out of 12. I thought that was gonna be 12. Oh, that put it Siobhan at 11. We were peaceful once. I maybe should have done that differently. This game's not easy. It makes it very rewarding, though. You tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me! By the moon's crescent land. No more hiding. Face your heretic. All right, the current plan: Dragon Guard Lieutenant Challenger challenge the Diana, and then play Radiant Guardian. After that, I got the seven mana. Another day guarding the. Temperamental as moonlight. Oh right, we had to draw a dragon for that to happen. That's, that's our deck. Our deck's filled with dragons. You just gotta have confidence that it was gonna work out, and that's that's why I did. I had the confidence that that was gonna work out.
So now we're gonna draw a fight spell. Like another single combat. Or strafing strike. Hmm, not quite. Mother Moon, guide me. It's a very bad sign. Alright, this is probably not good for me. Cygnus, how I missed your life. Thank them. Two and one. Third strike. So next time don't play Shivana, play White Flame Protector on at turn three. All right, looking for some ramp. Okay, we got mobilize. It's a little bit of ramp. And of course, waiting till turn three before we cast that card. You know, maybe affecting more units if we draw more units. There's a unit that we drew. That's a good one. Fire and fury burn. So that one will get me into the Aurelian Soul, so that works out. So we'll have turn 6 Eclipse Dragon, my turn 7 Aurelian Soul. Is what I'm currently looking at. Take out this ramp card. I guess not. <laughs> I won't take out the ramp card. So they're Trundle Trindamir with. Ionia. Don't know if that means... Like, deny, I guess? Are you a dragon? I am a dragon. We take the dragon. I'll just take the living legends. I, so <laughs> I would not have joined their cause, were they not? me to 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, I guess that gets me to 24. Right? Or is it 23? Yeah, 24. So I'm going to try to fight the Weirding Stones to level up Aurelian Soul. Kill the bundle and just let the Trindamir hit me. There's no, you know, they're not Shadow Isles. They're not playing Atrocity. Um, alternatively, I could block, just play Mind Splitter and block. I would block with, I guess, Shivana. I guess both Shivana and Eclipse Dragon. Well, let's see. I guess, yeah, it's got to be Sh Shivana to level up a really soul. Yeah, it's got to be. So I think I still play things before combat. Right? Like, if they're going to have stun cards, they can just have stun cards before combat anyway.
So I, I might as well play things before combat. Especially how I have the living legends that can just refill my mana. Yeah, if they can't if they can't remove a Rillian Soul. This is going to be bad for them. Which I guess. Uh, Alright, should have played Herald of Dragons first. Before Dragon Shivana, but it doesn't really matter. Free and lonesome as a summer breeze. Uh Um, yeah, I mean I guess that happens. Okay. Might not have wings. Fly. We're still gonna be fine. Um, I guess written in stars. Let's see if we find another Shivana with this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we got nine cards in the end. Let's see if we find another Shivana. Darn. That's still gonna be pretty good, I guess. Okay, let's see. We'll play you. Fire and fury! They're like out of mana. Here, you kill this thing. Just get another card out of my hand. Because then we're just going to. Now we're going to Living Legends and gain 10 mana. And then play 10 mana worth of stuff again. And then play Living Legends and gain another 10 mana. All purged and brawn, I'm afraid. Well, that wasn't a very good Living Legends. Another day guarding the walls. Oh, right. Nine mana, because we only have nine. What else we got? Okay. <laughs> so that's that's why we play stuff before combat, because it doesn't really matter what they have, even if they have Mina Swiftfoot. They're losing. But like if I would have just gone to attacks and if they just had like two, you know, like Concussive Palm, Will of Ionia, Steel Tempest, like that kind of stuff, they would have just you know, kept me from like they could have done something like that to keep me from killing them. But they're not gonna stop what we're doing. Your Fill your hand with cards and refill your mana. That's a crazy combination. All right, Scouts is a tough matchup for our ramp deck. This can be a tough matchup for sure. Um, we're going to have the Herald to ramp. We're going to have single combat. Okay, then we got Screeching Dragon. I was going to say, now we need some, some dragons. Ooh, this may be a little bit too much ramp. Good hand for them. Any more units? So I'm down to eight. Reading Guardian would have been nice. Radiant Guardian would have been nice. The prophecies ring true. My shield is yours. All right, so if that last card is, is Relentless Pursuit. I was gonna have the single combat to be able to kill that thing, but now I don't. So let's say it's Relentless Pursuit. So they get to challenge my one one and kill the one one, and then I have so I have two blockers. They can challenge my two blockers. They do seven to me. I, I'm down to one. So we're not dead. And single combat doesn't make any sense over anything else either. So. So 
so we're gonna go down to one. As foretold. I would have liked that Aurelian Soul in my hand whenever I cast those two mobilizers. That kind of maybe helped. I feel like I had to keep both of my dragons alive. The wood can't fight back, but I can. Yeah, so they could they could open attack and just attack with all three. Or like they could they could just attack with all three. I guess it is. Obviously I want to play the Radiant Guardian. I wish I had seven I wish we had seven mana. Like, if we had seven mana, we would have been fine. They attack with all three, we single combat something, then we play Radiant Guardian afterwards. I guess I kind of want to do it like this. No, we'll go the other way. All right, there we go. GG's. Four and one. Turns out Furious... Dragons with Challenger that are just killing units both turns. They, that can help you stabilize. That worked out pretty well. Turn four. Because even though I didn't do anything turn one, two, or three, <laughs> turn four I did play two Screeching Dragons. And so double Screeching Dragon on turn four that got to just start annihilating things back and forth each turn. Um, that worked out. So there we go. So another, uh, yeah, another win in the book. So that's a four-one. So yeah, both of our, yeah, all all winning decks. That's a that's a rank up Sunday. Now we didn't get the, you know, we didn't get the whatever it's called, the prime glory on the gauntlet. We lost that sixth round, but both of our rank up decks uh, did put up some wins. So um, yeah, I guess what is our rank? Let's see. We are at two twenty-one, and so on the leaderboard that puts us at forty-sixth place right now so top 700 to qualify for the tournament in december so we're at 46 that is less than 700 so that's good um but there we go there's dragon mobilize fun deck to play i uh, get to do some nice rampy stuff get to play lots of dragons it's pretty it's a fun one and those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love it, seeing those and I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.